<clears throat> I want to talk about the rise of the zebra people. According to biologist David Trauger, who I know, the, plant, the planet's tipping point for global climate change will occur around 2030 or in about 11 and a half years from today. He doesn't think we will address the problem in time, and as a result, humanity will face a number of environmental catastrophes, including decreased food production, widespread famines, rising sea levels that inundate coastal cities, and a whole lot of other bad things like destructive storms, forced migrations, wars, and so forth. When I was young, people uh, were told the reason that zebras have magnificent stripes uh, was because it was dazzle camouflage and confused attacking lions when the herd ran in different directions. Now they think, according to National Geographic, that the stripes cool the skin of zebras down by five degrees Fahrenheit. The dark stripes are warmer and the white stripes are more reflective and cooler. <clears throat> At the long borders of the stripes, the air circulates in an eddy and creates a cooling effect. The hotter the environment, uh, the closer and narrower the stri stripes are in that population of zebras statistically. The stripes also confuse the tropical disease-carrying tsetse flies who don't land and bite them as much. In 2,000 years, a population of migrating humans, uh, for example, the Indo-Europeans, can change their skin color from quite dark in sunny South India to quite pale in overcast northern Scotland to adapt to the change in latitude and changes in available winter sunlight. Light skin avoids rickets, which is a vitamin D deficiency that's very serious, and frostbite. You're six times less likely to get frostbite. Dark skin avoids skin cancer. Thinking outside the box then, what might humans look like in 2,000 years, we might want to consider what appearance changes there may be in humans. As the zebra has shown, a possible adaptation to a five degree warmer earth may be to evolve striped skin because it's cooler and looks cool. If that should happen, people might look like Daryl Hannah who played Ayla in the movie Clan of the Cave Bear. The people of the future then might look like Hollywood's vision of the people of the past. It's a fun possibility to contemplate even if we don't know what humans will look like in 2000 years or if we will be here at all.
let's learn about zebras. Zebras are mammals, which means they are warm-blooded, are covered in fur, and feed their babies milk. They are closely related to horses and donkeys, but unlike their cousins, zebras are covered in black and white stripes. These stripes are as unique as fingerprints. No two stripe patterns are exactly alike. Zebra's stripes probably serve as camouflage and may make it harder for predators to pick out one zebra to chase. For a long time, people have wondered if zebras are black with white stripes or white with black stripes. It may seem like a riddle without a good answer, but the fact that most zebras have dark skin underneath their striped pelts leads us to believe that they are black with white stripes. Zebras are herbivores, which means they eat plants. In fact, they eat mostly grass, but will also eat shrubs, twigs, leaves, and bark. They live in large herds for protection, and when there is no more grass to eat in the area, the entire herd travels to find new grazing land. Zebras have excellent hearing and eyesight, and can run at speeds of up to 35 miles or 56 kilometers per hour. They can also deliver powerful kicks from their hooves, which allows them to defend themselves from predators like lions and hyenas. There are three different species of zebras, and they are all native to Africa. For the most part, zebras are abundant, but one of the species is endangered. Hunting by humans for meat and skins, as well as competition with livestock, have dramatically reduced zebras' numbers. Now there's one more thing you may wonder about zebras. If they are so much like horses, why don't people ride them? Well, some people have ridden zebras. But zebras do not make good riding animals like horses do. First of all, zebras are small animals and their backs are not strong enough to support very much weight. Secondly, zebras are much wilder and more aggressive than horses are. Remember how they defend themselves from lions by kicking them? A zebra's kick is strong enough to break bones or kill and they will kick anything that they think is a danger to themselves or their herd. Some zookeepers have even said that they would rather take care of the lions than the zebras because it's less dangerous. I hope you enjoyed learning about zebras today. Goodbye till next time.